This is Artsy Wisdom. My name's Diane, and I'm doing love readings. This one's for Capricorn for the month of July. <clears throat> what I do is I pull three cards for where you are now, your situation, three cards for what you're unaware of or your surrounding energies, three cards for action to take or action to avoid, and then one general card for the month of July and to get, kind of give you a vibe, an overarching theme. So um, when I meditated on Capricorn, I saw you on water. I saw you on a boat or near water. Um, so maybe some of you are, um, you know, on vacation somewhere near water. I'm pulling the three cards as we're talking about um, the situation that you're now in. I see a celebration. There's a lovely man, uh, Wands, King of Wands, which is an older man, a fire sign, Leo, um, Sagittarius, or Aries. Could be a female as well, but... Um, See the salamander on the bottom? That's the king, I think King Francis of France had that, but <clears throat> salamander, I feel like it's near water or wet, swampy, whatever that is, but somewhere really nice. And I feel like I can feel you out in the sun and enjoying yourself. Capricorns love nice things, um, things that make them feel like they've reached the pinnacle of you know, security and beauty and that sort of thing. And they love... Um, they have um, kind of feel like they have the status a little bit, not that it's pretentious, but so there's an offer. You've got money coming in. You just started something where it's literally some, maybe you've just met somebody and they've, um, it's a real thing. It's not just something in your mind and there's a celebration. So maybe you're somewhere at a wedding or something and maybe there's somebody's talking about working together, but this is a really good beginning um, situation. It feels really awesome, especially with the water and everything that I saw. And this guy, maybe that's you, but it's a fire sign. So unless you have some strong fire like Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, most likely Capricorns tend to focus on, um, you know, things. Okay. So this is your area of influence around you that you're unaware of. Um, here's the sun again. So like I said, the water and the sun. So you're being influenced about your environment. Very earthy, you know, Capricorns are an earth sign ruled by Saturn, which is about real stuff. And you've got two of pentacles again and the ace of pentacles. So there's some considerations about money and finance here, but you're juggling a couple ideas. Um, this one was right next to that. So offers, real offers, juggling. Um, and then you're going to, and this is really lucky. So the influence over you is really good right now. And it may be, <clears throat> I know this is a love ring, but maybe it's somebody with money because I feel like it's kind of a really nice place wherever you are. And, um, and even if you're, you know, you're sitting in your kitchen and you're not on vacation, I do feel like you still have that energy around you that is really positive and, um, lucky kind of. Now, um, there may be some, uh, people that are, you know, you're ready to go somewhere. It's time to, you you know, the influence is they're asking you to go somewhere. Maybe it is to leave and go on a trip, or maybe you are thinking about it. But this, I feel like, is somebody else. Um, there's somebody else that's um, thinking about asking you to go somewhere. And, and you just might, because it seems like it might be a good thing. But it looks like it's in the mountains. So, okay. Now let's go to action to take. Um, yeah, all right. Action to take. Okay. Um, you got to reach out. You're going to talk to somebody. You're going to be really decisive. Um, Queen of Swords, and you've got the Knight of Cups. This is an offer. This is always an offer from a romantic offer. So somebody's going to come along. Even though this is a Queen of Swords, this could be a strong-minded Capricorn um, and this is messengers or message ideas and uh, text communication of some sort yeah definitely really great I feel like your uh, summer could hold a lot of potential and the Queen of Swords is somebody that is decisive um, and doesn't mince words and this could be the idea that Yep, got this offer. Great idea. And it's all. So there's a man, a fire sign man. 
And then this is a younger man, a water sign. But it could just be any person, a woman. It's just an offer, a romantic offer. And that's really good. Um, the water signs, um, Pisces. Wow. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Gosh. Or just anybody, but it is an offer. But it's an emotional offer. So the vibe for July, the general overview is temperance. So I think what I'm looking, this is balance. He's got water and earth um, in both hands. Temperance can be, you know, one leg in the sea and one leg on earth. And so that's kind of where you are in my mind's eye, you know, water and land and the earth sign of Capricorn. But temperance just tells me that you're going to have so many um, really fun times or opportunities for um, meeting people that you just have to like limit them. Maybe there's going to be so many and I'm almost looking, see the rays or the wings on this person. She's so beautiful. Those feathers or those rays, I think those are feathers. It almost looks like that's all the opportunities that you'll have. So you have to really, I mean, manage them, but really positive. So feels really good. And this is one of the better readings I had for the signs today. So good luck. I'd love to hear how it goes and, and uh, who this offer comes from, if that works for you. And um, until next time, thanks. Thanks.